This conference will now be recorded. Hi, um, this is Vinket. Today I'm going to explain some of the Informatica intro questions and answers. First one, how many ways you can migrate or set a code from one environment to another environment in real time? So different companies follow different approaches. So most frequently you are import and export. So you can import the code into another repository by exporting from other repository through XML. Another way is by creating deployment groups, either static or dynamic deployment groups. Second, third option is by creating label and code. In some companies, uh, they write a script which is automated so just you need to pass to the script what is the folder name and uh, list of workflows you want to migrate from one environment to another environment. there are different ways you can migrate what is impacted mapping so for a mapping if uh, any of the source or target definition or reusable transformation are using the maplet chain then the mapping enter into the impacted state. Impacted, you can see here, yellow color triangle symbol. So if you get that on the mapping, the corresponding either source or target, anything is changed. So here, so if you click on validate, that symbol will disappear. So what is invalid mapping? You can uh, run even though your mapping is impacted, but you cannot run your session if your mapping is invalid. So invalid means you can see here red color bubble symbol. If you get this, you cannot run your session. So I will take a simple example. In the mapping, you are using joiner transformation. But in the joiner transformation, if you don't give the join condition and if you save the mapping, your mapping becomes invalid. Why? Because when you are using joiner transformation, the join condition is mandatory. So, whenever mapping is invalid, you have to fix it. Mapping impacted depends. What is mapping parameter? A mapping parameter represents constant value. Generally, mapping parameters use a flexibility. Whenever in future some changes happens, you need not touch the entire code, just you change in the parameter file, that change will reflect. Where mapping parameter values are stored? The mapping parameter values are stored in parameter file. It starts with dollar dollar symbol followed by parameter name equal to value. What are different types of parameter file headers? So we have different one is global. So parameter header starts with square brackets. Session workflow name like this. And also folder name dot wf colon workflow name dot st colon session name. There are different names. So if you define global any workflow can access that or any session can access that parameter file. Where do you specify parameter file name? We have two options. One is at the session level and also you can set at the workflow level. The highest priority is workflow level. So go to property steps, see here parameter file. You can specify here and wait. The workflow designer workflows edit so the property step. So here also you can specify parameter. Suppose if you specify in both the places workflow level and session level, the highest priority is workflow level. You have to declare mapping parameter. You have to declare in the mapping designer. Mappings. Parameters and variables. What happens if parameter not defined in the parameter? Suppose you, are, you have created a parameter and that parameter you haven't uh, defined in the parameter. Then what happens? 
it tries to use the initial value. Suppose it will give any initial value. If you don't even give initial value, then what happens? It uses default values. So if it is a numeric, it takes zero. If it is a string, blank string. If it is a date, it will take one one seventeen fifty three. What are different tracing levels? So first of all, you need to understand what is tracing level. The tracing level represents the amount of information written into the session log. So there are different uh, tracing levels available: terse, normal, verbose initialization, verbose data. The default is normal. If you want very less information, you go for text. If you want complete information for debugging purpose, writing each and every row, port value, also you go for verbose data. In real time, generally we use either normal or verbose data. More updates, please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.